Alright, so there are plenty of things to do in uh, <clears throat> the evening here. But I have been told by multiple people that I should try investigating the downstairs bathroom uh, some night here. So I'm going to see if I can do that here. I guess this is it. And we'll see what happens. I've been told it's helpful. Hey. Why are you staring at LeBlanc's bathroom? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll clean it up. All right, time to do some work for the chief. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Do you want to try cleaning now? Your kindness may improve a bit. Okay, well, there we go. Well, sure, if there's a good kindness buff, let's do that. Why not? But man, this store's pretty old. You sure you couldn't clean your you shouldn't clean your room? I guess you could call this retro. Antique? That's nice in its own way. That should do it for now. Alright, all clean. I bet the chief is gonna be happy with this. Thinking about the customers and cleaning the store probably helped increase your kindness, no? Oh, only one point. <laughs> that was it for the trophy. <laughs> I kind of thought that would be more points, but oh well. That took longer than I expected. We should go to bed once we clean up the rest. Oh well, that's fine. We'll make it work. Oh, right. Summer vacation. Okay. I'm going to hold off on actually exploring Futaba's palace for a while, because there's a lot of stuff you can do over summer break that you can't do any other time, so I'm going to put it off as long as possible. I know that seems mean, but that's kind of how you make Persona work. <laughs> uh, if we want Futaba's help, we're going to have to steal her treasure by the day before the deadline. So we've got to find the treasure by the 18th and send the calling card by the 19th. It's up to you when we go to the palace, but keep the deadline in mind, all right? All right, that's fine. Uh, mission start. And more about mementos. I know how to do mementos. Hey. Yes, thank you, Morgana. I will, eventually. Um, what do I want to do? What do I have persona-wise right now? Should go back to the thieves at some point. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who's I am to me? I want to see your face. That's a very creepy way to start a message, even if you are my doctor. Uh, I'm hanging out with Makoto, because Makoto is the best. Let's see, let's hang out with Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Hey. Oh, Renkun, have you decided on our plans for today? Uh, let's hang out. Huh? Now? I guess if that's really what you want to do, is this a part of your grand strategy? You invited me! Uh, that's exactly right. I don't know what she's talking about. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little slower. Um, if you're available, I'd like to talk to you about Ico. Let's do it. I have a small favor to ask of you. Shall we go? Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and we can take the back entrance into the school. Yeah, they, they decided to keep your school social links available during summer break, unlike Persona Actually... 5. Or Persona 4. Uh, by coming up with flimsy excuse lines that they'll say if you're trying to hang out with a school social link during summer break. Which I appreciate. I would rather have a flimsy one line about why we can get into the school than not be able to hang out with my friends for weeks just because of the time of year it is. Uh, apparently Aiko has started dating a host from the club near her work. I guess he, um, hit on her one day after her shift and that was that. Since then, he's the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. <laughs> uh, he sounds suspicious. You, know, you think so as well? For now, it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> but Aiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people is outdated. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. Aww. Tests about love aren't a thing, though. And even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't flunk them. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I'm probably just being biased toward him. I mean, I don't have any proof he's untrustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. Uh, well... This time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. Oh, I got this. <laughs> uh, it's honestly okay. 
You're so reliable, Renkun. I think if I have a boyfriend, Aiko might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually... To tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Sorry. But it's just going to be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. Thank you. You're a tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else I'd have asked if you had said no. And rank 5. All right. No special abilities, but that's okay. Aiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. All right then. Well, see you later. Sorry, I had to ask something so unreasonable. I appreciate you going along with it, though. Do you think Aiko's really okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid about her boyfriend. But if it turns out he really is toying with Aiko, what should we do? Um... <laughs> I don't think I should say this, but I really want to say FIST OF JUSTICE! No, well, um, I'm trying to reach out to her. That seems more reasonable. You're right. We're friends now, so I'm sure she'll understand if I can just have an honest talk with her. Phew. I keep thinking in circles here. I need to stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see who this host is behind his smile, for Aiko's sake. Okay, I'll call you again later. Ah, you're back. Just what's magic gonna do? It is hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have been really up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. To think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? If only we could. Yeah, I guess it'd be easy if that was one of our options. No matter how you look at it, we need a countermeasure. Our best bet would be Alibaba, but she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we should think of some other ways too, then. Yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? All right, what to do tonight? Um, I noticed my plant was looking a bit weird. Let me make sure I have plant food. Uh, what is the stuff called? It's like... Plant balm? No, that's not it. What is it called? I guess I don't have plant food. Let me see if I can buy some plant food. Uh, uh, and then I can get a kindness reading. I forgot about that from Chihaya. And uh, use that on my plant. Let's go to the underground mall and hope the plant store is still open. People need to feed their plants at all hours of the day. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't want to work. I just want to buy bio-nutrients. Oh, wait, there was, like, super nutrients somewhere else. Hang on, there's super nutrients in, uh, in Shinjuku. So I'll go to Shinjuku, I'll buy the super nutrients, and then talk to Chihaya while I'm there. Alright, I think I got them at Ran Ran. Ran Ran. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hi. Uh, no, I didn't get it there. Where did I get it from? <laughs> No, I got it from here. I got it from this place. Welcome. All right, uh, mega fertilizer. That's what I want. And then we'll get a kindness reading from Chihaya. Get a fortune reading. What shall we do? Luck reading. Have fortune. Oh, five thousand yen. That's a lot of money, but we know that'll be fine. We got two hundred k. I'm trying to save money to get SP adhesives though. Um, I want to increase my kindness. Hmm. The Hierophant card. It seems you will greatly benefit from taking actions that reward your kindness. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm gonna go talk to my plant, and then I guess I'll just come back and hang out with Chihaya. Uh, I don't see why not. It'll cost a little bit more money, but it's not that much yet. Get more yet doing 
random things in any temple or any palace. I don't know why I just called it a temple. Uh, let's feed the plant. Hey, hey. Yes, we'll give it mega fertilizer. Whoa. Super plant power. Activate. Um, and then we'll go back to Shinjuku. This is probably not the most effective way to do this, but it's the one I'm doing. And then we'll talk to Chihaya. I know I need to talk to him, but I will later. All right. Let's do a verification test. We're not done with these tests yet. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Yeah, um, a, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can help fix my problems. Is that right? Yes. Of course. Fate is absolute. So, um, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had all the way back since preschool. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations! So what's worrying you? Is the, d the date of the ceremony, or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? No, um, it's not like that. The problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of our major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? Ah, so this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined the president's offer? <laughs> Please relax. The divine power will bring us your answer. Yes, I've seen everything. My, it seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. No. Does this mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um... Uh, Mamiya-san, this may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. And is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should he move forward? Uh, follow his heart. No, <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful suggestion. Though I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. <laughs> Incidentally, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Uh, <laughs> thieves may steal her away. <laughs> that seems dramatic. Thieves may steal her away. Thieves? She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else would try to go after her? Huh, I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm the, the only one who could make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. So, you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. You've proven that to me. <laughs> and as a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for you from now on. All right. What we got? Money reading. Oh, that'll come in handy. Right. <laughs> I might do that before I go into a dungeon. You know, I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Uh, I'm not, sorry. I see. I wish there, a way, there was a way I could meet one. But for now, that wish only reminds me of my inability to change my own fate. I will forever be a monster. Oh, um... My, it's gotten so late. I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Interesting. <laughs> How could that be at this hour? Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to LeBlanc tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet, and it's relaxing with the Sayuri there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we can easily meet up should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. Don't worry if you already have plans. I'll be stopping by either way. If you'd like, we could spend some time together. Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? It might be nice to hang out with him. I'm going to bed. 
Ah, well, why not? We'll hang out with Yusuke. I don't have better plans. Hey. Hey, Ren. One of your friends is here to visit. All right, let's go see Yusuke. Your confidant sends you a message prior. They might visit LeBlanc, and you can invite them to your room to spend time with them. All right, so we'll invite Yusuke up to my room. Well, then. After Morgana gets out of my way. Oh, it's torrential rain. Okay. Hmm? Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Yusuke! I have been waiting here for you. Oh, and I brought an art book I would like to read with you. All right, well, we'll read, get charm and Yusuke points. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. I knew you would agree. In that case, I will head to your room. Hmm. This room is quite comfortable, just as I thought. It does remind me of my atelier. This is also a fine place to relax and enjoy a good book. Yes, I'll be visiting more often. You know, I never asked. What kind of art do you like? Uh, a bit of everything. I see. Yes, of course. You judge art not on a piece by well, you judge art on a piece by piece basis, not by genre. I've been blind this whole time. Looking at something without any preconceived notions. Is this what it means to ask the heart? Thank you for sharing your opinion. It was enlightening. I read with Yusuke while discussing art. Ooh, super charm. Nice. Hmm. Ah, oh, look at the time. To have come all this way only to depart fills me with profound sorrow. You'll get closer to your friends if you spend more time with them, but it will also take up your evening. Do you have some time? Now, I don't suppose you have plans after this. Uh, you want to go to the bathhouse? It's from right apologies. outside. You mean it. Thank you. I'm in your debt. A steamy bath with a dear friend. Yes, that may be just the stimulation I need to rejuvenate the senses. Skip the nighttime thing? What's gonna happen if we hit Medjid's deadline? I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something about it. We don't even know who Medjid is. What can they do about it? August 21st is the deadline, right? I can't wait! Oh man, we gotta wait a whole month? Oh, there I we go. <laughs> it has been quite some time since I last indulged in a warm bath. I had nearly forgotten how wondrous it feels. Do you get to soak up this paradise every day? I'm green with envy. <laughs> uh, you're gonna overheat. I feel as though I could melt. You're right. I'm beginning to feel a tad lightheaded. I shall be careful. Thank you. Ah, the warmth is permeating throughout my body. And I got points for things! More charm! All right, I'm going to be Mr. Charming after this. We've been in the bath for a good while. Do you suppose it's time we head out? See you later. Well, that was a good use of a day. <sighs> How could that be at this hour? Hey, I'm going to hang out your place tomorrow during the day. If I'm at the hideout, I can move out whenever. I'll bring some manga, so you don't need to worry about me. I got stuff to do, you can- or if you got stuff to do, you can just ignore me. See ya. Alright, we'll hang out with Ryuji, I guess. I might turn him down if he wants to hang out in the evening so I can get a couple of things done, but... Um... We'll see what that looks like. Have the Phantom Thieves made their move yet? I don't get it. Are they just gonna ignore them? I'm sure they're working on it. We're gonna be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish they'd take care of it already. Uh... Senpai, do you want to do some training today? The truth is, I want to try something a little different. I was hoping maybe you could come join me. Uh, okay, well, I'm hanging out with Yo. Ryuji today, so I can't do that. Sorry to bother you while you're enjoying your after-meal coffee. But I'm going to open up shop soon. You either need to go upstairs or get out of here. All right, hey, that's fine. Hey. What's that chat from? Huh, you have the day off today. Why don't we go somewhere? I am going somewhere. To my room. To hang out with Ryuji. 
I need Ryuji points because I'm close to the end of his link. Man, I am Mr. Popular. Stop texting me, everyone. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! <laughs> Maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe! Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. Yeah, I got, I got things to do. Coffee to drink. Baths to take. Hey. Uh, I got another friend here to visit. Let's go hang out with Ryuji. Uh, let's check out the news. Although they left clues, hacker group Medjid has not made the target of their next attack clear. According to experts, there are many corporations that could be potential targets. Companies managing public transport and other utilities are pressured to take countermeasures. Hey, hey! Medjid is so creepy. They're really making a big mess out of all this. Hey, Ryuji. Yo. Hey, you know that comic I was talking about yesterday? It's typical shonen stuff, but the battles are insane. It's really something to see, man. Uh, yeah, we'll hang out and improve guts. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> yeah, come on, let's head up on, on up to your room. <laughs> oh, man, this manga's the best. The fight between the main guy and his rival really gets me going. I want them both to win. So hey, who do you usually root for? The main hero or the rival? Uh, the main hero, of course. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get you. I mean, all the cool stuff always happens to the hero. But I gotta get with the rivals. They're always cool and mysterious, you know? Gah, I gotta keep reading. Is it cool if I read the whole thing here? <laughs> I read with Ryuji while talking about fights and friendship. Guts time! Sorry. Oh, jeez, it's getting late. Sorry for hanging around so long. <sighs> Since I bothered to come out here, it might be cool to hang a little longer. Hey, do you have time after this? Uh, I've got other plans, unfortunately. I'm gonna see come what on. else is available, because a bunch of people are texting me. See ya. And I think that's all the guts I need right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll regret that, but I feel like I don't want to just accept uh, everything that comes in back. my face. Uh, yeah, the paper back in the airsoft shop, I know. What does she want? Oh, there's a movie. Okay, hang on. It's called Like a Dragon. Oh, we get to see a movie about Kiryu. Uh, I'll decide later. If we're gonna go see the movie... No, I'll just go see the movie. There's nothing I want to do in between. <laughs> uh, alright, let's go see Like a Dragon. Let's go see it. Thanks. Let's meet in front of the movie theater in Shinjuku. Is it gonna charge me for the train ticket? <laughs> no! You try to cut ties with me, then you come back for more? I'll kill you! Boss! Boss! No! That bastard shot him! Boss! Makoto's fists have been clenched this entire time! Whatever she said before about the director was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. I feel like I learned more about the determination that the Yakuza have. See, if you didn't think Makoto was the best person ever earlier, she's into Yakuza movies. Thanks to the craft of cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. Alright, cool. Oh, I guess <laughs> more guts, even though I just said I was good on guts. That's fine. You're right. That, that wasn't too bad. Um, do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? Hey, not at all. Do you think? R really? Thanks. I think this is the first time I've been told that. Sorry that I called you over so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by myself. Thank you. I had fun, though, thanks to you. Okay, let's start heading home. Could that be at this hour? Do this again. Oh, a uh, catchy, I guess. Apologies for the sudden message. Are you free tomorrow? A work acquaintance gave me some tickets to an aquarium. 
It would be a waste to let them go unused, no? Would you like to come along? Uh, sure. We'll go with Akechi. Glad to hear it. Then tomorrow it is. I'll send you the directions to Shinagawa Aquarium. So we'll meet there. Guy's night out at the aquarium, huh? That should be fun. I guess it's not that weird. Oh, and we unlocked a place. Shinagawa. A traveler's hub with access to trains, airports, and a number of hot springs. Sleep with the fishes. A nearby hotel has an aquarium inside. It's fun for the whole family. All right. Cool. That sounds it, lovely. It's been a while since I've come to a place like this. Sorry for dragging you along. Ah, that's a nice place. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. This suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the type. Huh? Oh, hey! I thought I recognized those glasses. Look who it is! And we even got the second detective prince here, too. For real? Wait, what? Um, keep it quiet, please. Oh, sorry. But that's not important. Why are you with Akachi-kun? I invited him out. We're fairly close, after all. You are... huh. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. He helps me with my articles sometimes. But who would have guessed you were friends with the famous teen detective? And unlike you, he's pretty hardline anti-phantom thieves, right? Mind if I ask a couple questions about you two? Uh... If you like. Oh. Oh, you're down? I was just kidding. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into a high schooler's private life. I thought this report would be boring, but I got a nice surprise out of it. Well, see you next time I need extra info! You have some friends in the media, I see. And if I heard right, you have some sort of professional agreement? Uh, it's nothing bad. Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. Of course, if you have to explicitly deny it, then... No, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm prying. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thank you for coming out today. We should head home. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. Oh, well, he made good time. <laughs> After all... Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. Um... You know what? I have been forgetting to do this entire time. I think we're on the final point of uh, Kawakami's social link and I've just been letting it hey hang, there. so let's finish that off. Perfect timing. There is something I wanted to talk to you about. Not as your maid, but as your teacher. Could I visit LeBlanc later today? What do you want to do? Call her over. Okay. I'll head over right away. Sorry I'm late. A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. Yes, it's fully voiced. That's how you know we finished it. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. Uh, sounds like you're busy. Oh, do I sense some jealousy? <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> so, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. Uh-oh. <laughs> you... Oh, no. ...are way too lax when it comes to your diet. <laughs> you need to be more serious about your nutrition. It's not my fault all I eat for breakfast is curry. And the state of your room. You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I just cleaned it a couple of days ago. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. I just did. Uh, I will. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. 
There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? Uh, 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 what? Uh, why do you think that? That whole thing with Takase Kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. Uh, so what if I am? Hmm, well... Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. That sounds promising. Right? For my students and for you. I feel a strong bond with Kawakami. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. Ta-da! Honestly, didn't think the first persona uh, social link that I would max in this game was Kawakami, but there we go. Oh boy, a request a massage after going into the metaverse, letting you go out at night. Oh, that's actually really helpful. All right. That's fantastic. I can get Mona off my back. And all it takes all right. is getting a massage from my teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. That's super, super helpful. Okay, let's get into it. 50 terms, go! Uh, what? I don't want you to flunk your exams. We just had them. I'm going to go the distance with you. Oh boy. <laughs> I received a special lesson from Kalakami. I got tired all of a sudden. Don't we get knowledge points? 